Hi everyone, it's Karen Frost here at Handmade Soap Decadence and I'm going to be making a soap with you today. I'm making pink sugar. Um, I'm not going to be doing too much with it because the fragrance oil um, discolours to a really dark chocolate brown. So I'll only be doing a sort of pink swirl in it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get going with it. My oils are a little bit cloudy because they're very cool. Um, I forgot to put my oats and soya and stuff in my milky mix so I'm just going to put them in my oils not a big deal this is finely ground oatmeal I need to make some more everyone's well. The weather's rather depressing at the moment. Winter is definitely making itself known. Let's get my soy powder in. And this I also make myself. It's uh, soybeans and I boil them and then Dehold them and then I roast them so that they're dry again and then I mill them in a coffee grinder and then pass it again through a very fine mesh sieve. And I'm actually use one of these, I've got quite a few of these. And it's very fine mesh so it comes out really nicely. Actually, is my canning clay? No, it's not. I haven't put my can in clean either. So let's get that in. Okie dokie do. Got my rice powder in with my buttermilk, cream and um, sugar and yoghurt is in here, that's my milky mix. I normally put my other powders in here but I forgot to do that this time. Like I said, it's no big deal. Right. Let's give this a blitz and then I'll put my gloves and goggles on because Seriously, lye is um, very caustic, it will burn, if you get it in your eye, you're going to go blind, so it's really not worth the risk. <laughs> Ideally you do want to wear long sleeves as well, and close toe shoes and long trousers. Um, I don't mind if I get a bit of a splash on my arms, I just wipe it off, I'm alright with that. But not everyone is, so do be careful. But definitely goggles, non-negotiable. If you're going to be working with caustic soda, it's, you know, it's a, it's a risk to let it splash into your eye and cause you to go blind. It's just a risk that's not worth taking. Right, that looks like it's nicely incorporated now. Stuck on my spatula, kind of get it off. There we go. Right, so, I'm going to get my goggles on now, or glasses, whatever. Oh, they're a bit grubby, let's give them a good wipe off. Got my apron on as well, protect my clothes. I also wear one of these 
when I'm mixing the lye, even though you stay away from it when you're mixing it, don't put your head over it for goodness sake because it gives off fumes, but given my lung trouble I do actually wear a mask um, just to make sure that it doesn't aggravate my lungs. My gloves on. Oh, it feels so good to be Sophie again. Lovely, jubbly. I prepared all of my oils yesterday, so they are it's very cool. I did give this. Um, this is my butters um, and coconut cream. I did give that a quick. 30 second burst in the microwave because it was almost solid. Alright, let's get my lye water in. Oh, almost forgot to strain it. And I strain it because, as you can see, there are bits of bark and twigs and leaves in there because it is pure, unadulterated, wild silk. It's not been processed in any way, so... I've got a little bit of lye lint as well, not a big deal. a little whiz. And the magic begins. Look at that. Never get tired of that. Seeing the oils change. Cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut cream. I actually strained my coconut cream this time because I found that with the bits that are in it, although they are really lovely for your skin, it does cause drag marks when I'm cutting the soap and when I'm planing. So I've decided to now um, remove the pieces from the soaps. This so soaps from now on um, do not have the actual coconut pieces in them anymore. Um, my black orchid soap I also strained the coconut cream on that too so there's no coconut pieces in there either right so that's my butters and now for my milky mix which is again I say it's a uh, yogurt buttermilk double cream I've also got some rice flour in here. This rice milk is very good for your skin, so I've got the rice flour in here, which helps make it milky too. I've mentioned everything that's in there. Buttermilk, yogurt, double cream, rice flour. I think that's it. Give 
just a little ways. give a shout out to Emma Jane Molloy who is another one of my friends on Facebook who is an absolute darling. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Hello Emma. Love you darling. Thank you for all of the support you've given me. And thank you very much for my Planer. Emma's husband makes planers and cutters, so the planer beveler and soap cutters as well, and they are very, very good quality and most reasonably priced. Very, very reasonably priced. So if you're interested in getting a cutter or a planer, um, Emma's in some of the groups on Facebook, like Soapers Retreat and UK Soapers and, and stuff like that. So. You can find her there. So it's Emma Jane Malloy. Send her a message. I'm going to be doing a video about the planer that she sent me. Such a sweet art. She sent me as a girl get well gift. How sweet is that? She's such a darling. Thank you, Emma. I was like a fool when it arrived. So exciting. Makes life so much easier than using a knife and a vegetable peeler. Right, let's get this separated off. I'm going to do two shades of pink. This jug might look a little bit grubby, but that's only because I melted my um, butters in there. Well, some of my butters. Let's get some in there. Oh, what a mess. And obviously these are going to be unscented, otherwise you won't get to see the colour, because it will go dark brown. Ugh, making more of a mess trying to clean up on this. Right, move that to one side. So let's get my pinks. I haven't pre-mixed my micas today. So I've got a candy pink. Actually, but I want that one to be quite light, so let's see how we go with that one as it is. And this one I want to be darker. This is a Fantasia pink. Let's see how we go with those. cocoa powder in this just to help it along with the browning but also because chocolate is good for your skin and chocolate is good for you ha ha this is just just cocoa powder a spoon would be a good idea wouldn't it
Admittedly, I don't always wear my gloves, but I am very careful with what I do. But if you're starting out, I do recommend you wear them. Protect yourself. You do know I'm filming, don't you, babe? Yeah. My husband's home doing some paperwork. Just reminding him I'm filming. He seems to be having an issue. And I don't want that on camera. Because contact swearing, family program, all that. stand up for this because I can't really see in the mould properly. because it's sticking up and that's going to put a dent in the soap I don't know if you can see that it's, it's bowing out but just there oh. there that will it right just get the rest of this in and I know I've taken my gloves off soap on this handle so I'm just going to wipe it off
this another bang. Let's clean off this a bit first. Obviously, I've got to be careful now because I don't have my gloves on. But they're too finicky to get on once you've taken them off. So, I'm just going to blow it out. it a little bit. Babe, I'm still filming. Yes. Just pick that up a little bit more. There we go. Right, I just don't do too much more because it's getting muddy. Divots in there. My hands are slippery. <laughs> the spoon keeps slipping out of my hand. There we go. Ugh, stop slipping out of my hand, spoon. Babe, I'm filming and I can hear you on there, you know. Do not do that for anyone else who's watching. Do not do what I've just done. Stick your finger in raw soap. It's not the cleverest thing to do. Don't do what I'm doing. Do as I say. Don't do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think that looks lovely. Let's get some glitter. glitter and some alcohol so I give it a spritz of alcohol first there we go and on with the glitter maybe I should zoom you in a little bit I'm sorry the lighting in here is really crap I do apologize so dark outside because the weather is pants as usual so there's just no light coming in and I've got lights on in the house but it's just not making that much difference I'll take my glasses off now
There we go. Loads of lovely glitter. Make it pretty. See that? Come on, camera, focus. There we have it. Pretty, pretty pink sugar. So, I will attach the cutting video to the back of this. So, essentially, I will see you in a second. But it will be um, a few hours for me because I've got to cut it tomorrow. There it is. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. Here's the loaf. Oh, I'm really loud. Let's get there. If you can see that. Yeah. There we go. So let's get this baby cut. That smells good. I'm hoping the swirls are powdery. Okay, this. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. really crap weather. <clears throat> I feel like it's winter already. Um, so yes I'm afraid the light is crap. I'm going to be getting some um, strong lamps to um, help with the videoing because it's so dark in here. It's only going to get worse with winter on its way with the um, it getting dark earlier so I think I need stronger lighting for the video so lighting I have is fine for you know everyday home but for videos ah no it's not so yes I'm going to be getting some new lights so hopefully you guys could see the colours better and truer because I'm sure, I know actually, that what you're seeing is nowhere near as nice as it looks to me right now. Got a few ear pockets. That ain't right. Not going to hurt the soap. It's just cosmetic, and I can even fill fill one in if I want to, just like that. But that would take a long time to do. To be faffing about filling in every hole, which I'm not going to do. So it's going to have to stay like that. It's no big deal. It's an air bubble and great soap. It's supposed to have little things like that. It's a quirk. <laughs> Embrace the holings. Holings? Oh look, I'm making up words now. Huh? There you go. I couldn't sleep last night for love nor money. I took a ton of painkillers, still couldn't sleep. So I am feeling rather strange because I'm I'm sort of hyper but I'm knackered if you know what I mean. That probably doesn't actually make any sense to you but that's how I feel right now. See look, I'm going into accents. Hello. Totally losing the plot here. Brown soap on my curl. Oh no, look, I've done it again. 
some dodgy Epsom. Ooh. Right, I'm going to make a concerted effort <laughs> to stay English because that's what I am. English. There we go. Oh, it looks pretty. I'm well happy with this. I mean, there is going to be slight bleeding of the brown into the colours because the vanillin content is so high. Um, <clears throat> not a lot you can do about that. High vanillin content, it's gonna, it's gonna merge slightly around the edges into your other colours. Nothing you can do about it unless you were going to use vanilla stabiliser, which eventually would wear off anyway. And I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to use that in the UK, anywho. So, yeah, embrace the brown and move on. It's quite weird, you expect vanilla soaps to be white. Well, I did before I started making soaps, of course. And, um, so yeah, it's difficult for people to understand who don't make soap. Um, why your vanilla soaps are not nice creamy white colours. They're dark chocolate browns instead and they can't quite get their heads around it because obviously it doesn't make a lot of sense because you, you associate vanilla with white and chocolate with brown. So, but mm, it does smell very nice. Um, well, how would I describe it? Um, it's sweet, but sort of musky. I'd say it was a, a fruity floral. But, of course, that's a lame description, because I am lame at describing fragrances. The description will be in the description box. The fragrance description will be in the video description box, I should say. Make myself clearer. Make some sense, Karen. Good lord. So, if you want to know what it smells like, please read the description. I don't know what one I'm going to make next. I haven't decided. Well, yes, I have. I'm making blue sugar. That's my next one. But after that, I mean, I don't know what I want to do. I don't have a think about that. More pieces to cut. Can you see that? Is the light shining on it too much? Let me see if I can get one up to close up. I think you can see it. It's not focusing very well because it's so dark in here. Mm. It will be better once I get a lamp. Well, once I get the high powered lamps. I've got lamps. I need the high powered ones. I'm trying to find one with um, cool lighting rather than yellow lighting. So it's like a, a blue white as opposed to the yellow light. So, we shall see whether I'm successful, whether I'm successful with that. I'm sure I will be. I'm a determined sort. Ugh. Let's try that again. I seem to have missed a bit on the bottom. There we go. Got you there. And 
this is the last piece of my pretty pink sugar. So, this will be ready in about four weeks because I do soak with a discount of water. And if you like my videos, please click on the like button. Um, it just helps the videos show up in the search engines, which I found out recently. Um, so yeah, if you like the videos, please click on the like button for me and subscribe if you want to be notified of um, new videos and um, take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. See you soon.